Look, I'm gonna call Mahmood right now on this cell phone he gave me. He'll tell you. Peter Griffin has established himself as one of the most criminally inclined characters out there. And while it may be hilarious, he often takes it too far. So here we bring you our top 10 reasons why Peter Griffin should be in prison. Number 10, I hit a pregnant woman. Hey, Peter. Quagmire, what are you doing here? Oh, you know, soccer moms. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I'd like to hang around with you, but Lois needs me at home. I got beer. Oh, Lois, yay! We all know Peter's a wild guy, capable of starting a brawl in the middle of a football game if he's had a few too many drinks. But this time, he really went too far. Pinball, penalty kick, blue. That's the tenth time today! Nice grab, Orca! Hey, get Moby! Off the field before he rips up a license plate. Hey, 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 easy, fella. That's my kid. Now apologize. Okay, I'm sorry your kids are brain dead, stinking blue cheese fat. Oh, oh, that's it. During Chris's game, some jerk insulted his son, and Peter lost it. But this time, he had really bad luck. Hey, you hit my mom. No, I hit your dad. Whoa, stand back. Give her some air. You mean give him some air? Call an ambulance. She's going into labor. You mean he's going into labor? <laughs> Whoops. We have to admit, he's done plenty to deserve jail time, but this time he got off easy with just a little house arrest. And to his credit, he did have a nice gesture for the lady he assaulted. I sent her a little something for the baby. Yeah, of course, I would have brought it over myself if I wasn't under house arrest. Number nine, animal cruelty. Ew, what would you want that for? It's gross. No, it's not. It's awesome. I can suck on it for the flavor. I can thrash it around, pretend it's a snake. Sometimes I just bite it like this. Arr, arr, rope! That's stupid. I want it. No doubt Peter's done worse things than mistreating animals, even when it comes to his own dog, Brian. But this time he crossed the line, earning another spot on our list. Hey, Chris, where's your father? He's still trying to get that rope away from Brian. Oh, he's got to give up that obsession. I don't like what it's doing to him. Precious wants a precious rope. Peter, enough with the rope. Also wants ice cream. No, Peter, it's too close to dinner time. Get ice cream anyway. Don't you dare. <laughs> We all know Peter can act like a spoiled brat, and that's exactly what happened when he became obsessed with Brian's rope toy. He tried everything to get his hands on it, but when things didn't go his way, he didn't hesitate to take drastic measures. Come on, Brian, you better let go. I told you this is mine. You're never gonna get it. Just give me the rope. Nobody has to get hurt, Brian. Only one person has to get hurt, Brian. Well, let's put aside the fact that he ran over someone for now and focus on animal cruelty. Once again, Peter's jokes went too far. And we're pretty sure his actions would warrant, at the very least, a brief stint in the cell. Damn it, Peter, what were you thinking? This has to be the stupidest thing you've ever done! Number eight. Eh, uh, domestic violence. Oh my god, Chris, what happened? Kyle beat me up. You let that little punk beat you up? One thing's clear about Peter. He has a knack for crossing the line. You could even say he finds it amusing. And this is one of those times. It all started when he tried to have a talk with his son's bully, and as you can guess, things got out of hand. Peter did what? That act alone is completely illegal and should land him in jail, but it gets even worse when he starts enjoying being a bully himself. Dad, what's wrong with you? Why are you acting like such a bully? Because there are two kinds of people in this world, Chris. There are bullies and there are nerds. My point being that I'm a bully, not a nerd. Now, where was I? Oh, yeah. Ah, Dad, get away uh, from me. Uh -oh, Dad, you just fired. You're coming to get me. You're coming to get me. Ah, in the kitchen, Meg. This ain't the first time Peter unleashed violence within his own family, and we can only anticipate it won't be the last. But although he managed to dodge prison this time, karma finally caught up with him. <laughs> Number seven, piracy. Aha, there's me wench. Peter, what the hell are you doing? That's Long John Peter to you, porthole. <laughs> You know how when someone says they've pirated something, we usually assume they've just downloaded illegal movies or whatever, right? Well, when it comes to Peter Griffin, things are a bit more 
literal. Ah, for no reason, I'm going to fire this cannon all over your store. <laughs> Aha! Terrible pharmacy toys. We'll see to it that no child ever receives these as a last-minute gift hastily bought on the way to the party. Basically, Peter becomes a real pirate and starts terrorizing the town, committing all sorts of crimes and causing massive property damage. Even went to war with other pirates and disrupted the peace during an epic battle. I mean, it's pretty much par for the course with him. But you gotta wonder what the folks in Quahog and the authorities thought of all this. Thankfully, his days as a pirate came to an end when his loyal mate abandoned him. Sir, we've got a man down. Oh my god, Adrian Beaky, say something! Shoot me. Number six. He tried to rip off his father-in-law. All right, Joe, we're here. All right, Peter, Quagmire, start the diversion. Cleveland, find that door. Check, check. We all know Peter isn't exactly a role model citizen, but oftentimes the crimes he commits are for a good cause. Like that one time when he tried to help his friend Joe raise money for his new daughter's medical bills. Uh-oh, it's a combination lock. Looks like I'm just gonna have to cut through it. Good thing I brought Reese Witherspoon's chin. This programming brought to you in part by Kobe Brand Customs, the protection you want for the sex she doesn't. When his first idea, which was, by the way, also pretty damn illegal, didn't work out, he tried to borrow money from his millionaire father-in-law. Because if there's one thing you gotta admit about Peter, it's that sometimes he tries to take the high road. Is there any way you could help us out? Of course I could. But it's funnier to me if I don't. In about an hour, I'm gonna piss away 20 grand. What, are you gonna bet on the Knicks? <laughs> That's when he and his pals planned the heist to get the $20,000 they needed. Their methods may have not been entirely legal, but thankfully, his wife saved him from ending up behind bars. How the hell did you get your dad to give him that 20 grand? I told him it was for me. I said I wanted to hire a divorce lawyer. <laughs> you're, uh, you're joking about that, right? Lois, you're joking, right? Number five, mayhem on the streets. Whoa, whoa, big guy. You're probably never even gonna see him again. No doubt about it, Peter has done a lot of things that are, let's say, on the edge of legality. Some are forgivable, or at least not that serious. But when a certain anthropomorphic farm animal crosses paths with our family guy, chaos and destruction rise to astronomical levels. Oh yeah, and uh, that nice chicken outside gave me this coupon. I'm sorry, this is expired. You son of a... <laughs> And the worst part is that the battle didn't happen just once, and in each of their encounters, the level of damage and destruction increases exponentially. Oh, crap. All that destruction must have cost an incalculable fortune, and just for that, Peter should spend a long time in prison. But hey, this is Family Guy. For the sake of the city and its people, let's hope these two make amends soon. What are we fighting about? You know, I have completely forgotten. Me too. I, I, all... I cannot for the life of me remember. Oh my God. You know what? I, I just, I hope I didn't hurt you. No, no, no. I'm, 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 I'm all right. I'm all right. Let me make it up to you. Why don't you let my wife and I take you out to dinner? Well, that sounds lovely. Number four, terrorism. Oh, great spirit, why do I hold myself back in such situations? Oh, ground. Ah, damn it. The Eiffel Tower. Oh, cool, I'm in Paris. Hey, look at that douchebag who got stabbed in the butt. Ah, oh, crap, I'm in Vegas. Peter's life is a never-ending series of senseless adventures, usually leading him to quite controversial situations, like the time he ended up in the hospital and befriended a terrorist. Yep, you heard it right. That's the kind of stuff that happens to Peter. Peter, where are you going, and why are you dressed like that? Well, Lois, I happen to be a Muslim now, which means I'll be spending a lot of my time in mostly empty cafes, watching soccer on an 8-inch black and white TV. Yes, the team I like is kicking it. Oh no, the team I don't like is kicking it. Yes, the team I like is kicking it again. I will celebrate with finger symbols. At first, everything seemed fine, and Peter enjoyed getting to know and learning about Muslim customs. 
But soon enough, red flags started popping up. Or I think you joined a terrorist sleeper cell. What? That's crazy. Look, I'm gonna call my mood right now on this cell phone he gave me. He'll tell you. Damn phone's busted. Maybe I dialed wrong. Peter, please stop trying to call Mahmood. His friends convinced them to stay undercover amongst the terrorists to try and prevent the attack, and believe me when I say he gave it his all. Dari, can you repeat all that? I just had an itch right by my microphone. Microphone? He's wearing a wire! The plan paid off, and the cops swooped in just in time to foil the explosive mayhem. But let's just say Peter always finds a way to deserve that time behind bars. We all go celebrate at the clam. That's a great idea. Yeah, I think we could all use a drink. Tell you what, let me call Horace and tell him to get our table ready. Peter, did you just... Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Number three. I might have blown up a children's hospital. Yeah, I've always wanted to see the inside of the executive bathroom. Executive bathroom, sir? Uh... Yes? Right this way. So, uh, where is this executive bathroom? There. Welcome to Executive Bathroom Island. We have to admit that Peter's crimes aren't always fueled by evil intent, but rather pure and utter stupidity. Like that time he was trying to get promoted at work, remember? I have decided to do whatever it takes to become an executive. Well, it would certainly be great if you got a promotion. You'd earn more money, get better health insurance. Lois, I am doing this for the bathroom, and I'm not giving up on my dream. In one of his many attempts to secure that coveted promotion and executive bathroom privileges, he hatched a genius plan to take down a rival's billboard. But true to Peter's nature, things went hilariously wrong. Angela, look out your window. You see that Anheuser-Busch billboard next to the children's hospital? Well, watch this. Oh, God. Oh, my God. This is horrible. Oh, God. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, good Lord, save them. Bless their li Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, there we go. All right, everything worked out. Sure, it was a minor miscalculation, but the consequences were downright grave. No denying he deserves some jail time for that epic blunder. A management level position has become available, and I've seen that you've been working very hard lately. I am recommending you for a promotion. Holy crap. You know, last week I ate a fortune cookie that said obvious lesbian will bring great news. It also said a grand piano will fall on me. Number two, established my own country. What? I've never encountered anything like this before, but your property doesn't seem to be on the map. It's not part of Quahog. What the hell are you talking about? I've been living at 31 Spooner Street for 12 years. Sorry, but according to this map, you're not even part of these United States, which would make you... A communist! Ah! Ah! Who could forget the day Peter found out his house wasn't even part of the USA? That's right. Thanks to some tech glitch, he discovered he was living in no man's land. So what does he do? Only the most family guy thing ever. This territory will be known as Pretoria. I wasn't going to call it Peterland, but that gay bar down by the airport already took it. Peter and his family founded their own country in the middle of the U.S. and aimed to enjoy all the freedoms that come with it. But boy, do they have a lot of consequences to deal with. Luckily, they picked up some allies along the way. Hey, is Momar here yet? Yeah, he's over there with Saddam. And then Jerry guessed that her name was Mulva. <laughs> <laughs> the situation is very tense and extremely dangerous. It's only a matter of time before, uh... Oh my god, they've opened fire. This is not a safe place to be. <whistles> and now sports. Naturally, the government wasn't gonna take this lying down. But all things considered, Peter got off pretty easy. All he had to do was give up Pretoria. But who knows, maybe one day he'll make it into the history books. And that's the story of Pretoria, a little nation that 200 years ago seceded and repatriated in less than a week. Any questions? Yeah, uh, I, I don't get it. And number one, I'm a maniac behind the wheel. It's no secret that Peter's a wild card when he takes the wheel. He's had his fair share of accidents and reckless moments. You remember that time he lost his life due to drunk driving? Yeah, it's just one of his many reckless acts. But the act that takes the crown in our ranking is the most outrageous thing our lovable family guy has ever done. We're talking about the time he won that marathon. 
Sounds impressive, right? Well, hold on tight, because you won't believe how we pulled it off. I'm Bob Costas, here with Boston Marathon winner Peter Griffin. Peter, how did you do it? I'll tell you, Bob, I just got in my car and drove it. And when there was a guy in my way, I killed him. This act is pure evil, a selfish display of cruelty. There's no question that Peter deserves a life behind bars. But hey, it's Family Guy we're talking about. Who knows what other crimes our beloved Peter will unleash? Can he ever top himself? Go ahead and share your thoughts in the comments. We want to thank you guys for watching. Please be sure to subscribe and like the video for more Family Guy content. Why don't you check out 10 Worst Things Lois has done, shown on your screen right now. It's absolutely mind-blowing.